Today I will show you my late electronic lead screw external touchscreen color display for type 1. It can also be used in combination with the external upgrade module for CNC, end stops and stepper folds. I have made this external touchscreen display upgrade compatible with Ken van der Velden, his default ALS firmware and display firmware. The ALS is the replacement for the transmission mechanical gears on the lathe. Ok, and this is my setup. We have the rotary encoder that's going over here. We have the stepper motor to the isolated stepper driver that can be a closed loop or open loop. That's going over here to the ALS. We have the, um, the power supply for the stepper driver. And we have the ALS over here. And we have the um, programmable input micro USB that's going over here to the laptop. And uh, we have to switch the uh, dip switches to uh, download. And we, when we are finished, we have to switch it back to run. And um, don't use this uh, micro USB input, but that micro USB input for power for the ALS. And then we have the new upgrade, and that is the touchscreen display. Kent van der Velde, his code, works on a 5 inch touchscreen, but my research was mainly intended only to see if this display or smaller type display could be functional on a lathe. I successfully have the serial communication between the ALS and the touchscreen, and now works great and therefore my ALS hardware is now upgraded with the supported touchscreen port and header for these type of touchscreens. I then tried to edit the code for my 3.5 inch touchscreen and couldn't get out all the er errors yet to get it working with the stepper motor. So for source code please visit his page that is in the video description. The casings and brackets can be ordered for these touchscreen types and dimensions 3.5 inch, 4.3 inch and 5 inch. It includes double sided adhesive tape to mount to the lathe. For purchasing Nexion touchscreen displays, see the links in the descriptions. Now it's programmed. It starts up. We can see the RPM, but it, the stepper motor won't turn. I will power it on. And still it won't turn. So I have to put in the power and then it works. But you cannot change the values on the fly. You have to power it off and then change the value. Then power it on again and then you can rotate the stepper motor. Now we have to program the Nexion display with the SD card. I'm putting it in like this and then put in power. Now it's downloading and it's okay. Then shut down the power, we remove the SD card like so, and then put in the power again. And now we have the new um, user interface and now we can see that they work together for going down 0 0.004 and it's going down now it's going up going down alarm um, forward and then the leds are changing pitch millimeter and it works Correct. When I'm uh, rotating the rotary uh, encoder, then the RPM is changing on both displays, and uh, I can enable it like this, and the motor should work. But I don't have the box out of the code yet, and that's it. Now I will program the Nexion for the pure code. 
insert the SD card plug in USB for power it's programming programming is done remove the USB remove the SD card and power it on again and now we can see the pure display and the TM display is off so only display this uh, Nexion display is working so when I'm rotating the rotary encoder we can see the speed in numbers but also in a graphic and um, we can click on this and then we see it in percentage I click again and all kinds of values um, that's one but then those uh, buttons are not working but so we have to use these buttons and Ken did something very nice with it because with four pictures we can uh, select whatever we want and uh, this is the first this is for th uh, thread this is for feed from the left this is for thread from the right and then we're we're back again with feed from the right enter in some values uh, like uh, 1.2 press enter and it's okay and then we can use it and it's a very nice way of programming but it doesn't work with my uh, stepper motor so there's something wrong within it because I have to change the display um, uh, graphics and something went wrong so I don't know what that is but that should be fixed the ALS type 1 is now upgraded to support and connect all these touchscreen displays and will work on all three codes in the descriptions, I have also a link to the video of Kent van der Velde.